Welcome back everybody. It's Dave Spider Monkey 2A. We're back out at the range and today we got a fun handgun that was lent to us from a good friend of the channel and I'm excited to try it out. Stick around, should be a lot of fun. All right guys. I haven't really dipped much into the 10 millimeter world, but I have been intrigued by it a little bit lately. And before I went out and just bought a handgun in 10 millimeter, I thought I would try one out. And a good friend of ours uh, told me that I could try his out on the channel. So I figured why not make a video and have some fun with it. We have the Glock 40, the Gen 4 10 millimeter auto. When you hear Glock 40, a lot of times you think a 40 Smith & Wesson, but this is a... <sighs> It's bigger than a full size. I don't know, even know what you would call it. It's a six inch barrel. Other than that, it's it just your standard Glock, guys. Uh, <laughs> so the fun part about 10 millimeter is boy, oh boy, is it a big, ugly round. That is just beefy. So you might think, hey, that looks just like a 40 Smith & Wesson, but, Wesson, but longer. And you'd be absolutely right. A uh, little bit of background, 10 millimeters has been around for a long time. Um, the FBI wanted something a little bit bigger and beefier than the 9 millimeter because they thought it was inadequate. So they, the 10 millimeter was developed, but the times and performance and tests of some of the agents was not up to par. So they ended up necking it down and making the 40 Smith & Wesson. But then again, same thing, the test results weren't what they wanted and ended up just ditching it and going back to nine millimeter. So here is your nine millimeter round and here is your 10 millimeter. I'm holding it up properly. Bigger, beefier, we are just using, oh, and I spilled <laughs> little container over there. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Some 180 grain FMJs, this Salir and Bellet, Bellet, however you pronounce it. Boy, oh boy, is it cold, guys. It's single digits out here. I am freezing my butt off. Let's get to doing some shooting. All right, so the, this one came with two 15-round mags. Again, six-inch barrel. It's a great option for a sidearm if you're out hunting. It's a great option with the six-inch barrel if you want to use this for primarily for hunting. It would be a closer range one, but a lot of people take this out in their backpack for, say, bear or hog hunting. It's just a good option. It's got some punch to it. We're gonna take a few shots at some steel. Hopefully I can hit something. I'm excited to see what the recoil is on this. If it's really much worse than say a 45 or a nine millimeter. Yeah, definitely has some more punch to it. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely packs a wallop. Did pinch a little bit in the hand, even with this big frame and big slide. I was getting pinched a little bit. Maybe it's because my hands are smaller. I have a hard time with these big full frame guns. I am almost positive that it's because my hands are smaller. Not bad, though. Uh, very manageable, especially with this big six inch barrel, big full, full slide. Not too bad at all. Let's uh, load it up again. What really stinks is that on this cold day, my auto loader is too small for the 10 millimeter. So let's get it loaded up. We'll fire it off a few more times. All right, we got a various assortment of two liter jugs and a couple spaghetti squashes out there. We got about 10 rounds loaded up before my hands froze. Hopefully we can hit these things. Again, we're just using some FMJs, so it might not be a lot of devastation, but let's see if it blows it up more than say a nine mil does. Spaghetti squash, no. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, spaghetti squash, it was firing right through. Ooh, it's steaming a little bit. <laughs> but the two liters sure made short work of them.
<laughs> all right guys there you have it uh my thoughts on this 10 millimeter this full size full full size one it, it's a good shooter um definitely has a lot of pop to it but i can honestly see why the fbi would have ditched it follow-up shots are definitely an issue uh faster firing definitely takes a lot longer i'm not a great marksman to begin with but it was it took me a, a little bit to get back on target in between shots but it is a great option will i pick one up maybe if i find one that is in a good price range I'll probably stick with Glock. I know they have the Glock 40, this one, the uh, Glock 29, I believe it is, which is the compact version. I don't know if I'd be able to handle that one. And the Glock 20, which is the full-size version. All right, everybody, what's your thoughts on 10 millimeter? Good option, or is it just for show? This is every <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Dave with Spider Monkey 2A. Give us a like, maybe share this video. Hope you subscribe. If not, thanks for stopping by.